What's up, folks? This is Jack back here from Inside Wrestle Truth. What's your name? Oh, really, dude? You have a better intro than that. All right, that's Jimmy. Thank y'all. Uh, happy Father's Day to all the real dads out there. You know right. Uh, but this is our review for Money in the Bank from St. Louis. Uh, money. First off, I gotta give a shout out to my Pittsburgh Penguins for bringing home another title to the Still City. Uh, Shout out to them. I want you Sucks. You know. But, uh, prayers go out to the University of Louisville. <laughs> anyway. Oh, come let's, the let's, fuck on, let's man. Get, really? Let's get into. Uh, How about some condoms go out to them? Yeah, something. Something needs to go out to them. Got real. Just don't take our banner. I don't care what you do. We're going to rank it down. Anyway, let's get into money in the bank. We can't talk about this shit right now. Yeah, we can. All right, we have the first ever woman's money in the bank. Uh, you watched a lot of this. Uh, the man, a man gets involved. We see a lot of Facebook shit for this. Yeah, the people man, like that. The man about a dog. It's supposed to be a progressive match. We, you know. Yeah, it's supposed to be like, it's supposed to be that moment for the women, man. It's their first ever money in the bank match and some bum comes in and just... Who gives like, a fuck? I could give two fucks. I was waiting. I was about to say, dude, I got my waiters on over here. Hot bullshit. Do you care? Who gives a fuck? I don't give a fuck. So you fucking 15-year-olds get mad at us. They got 52 weeks of TV. This feminist horse shit of people saying, oh, a man had to do it. Fuck off. It's wrestling. I don't like to change the fucking channel. This shit's not real. I was just trying to get him to say it. Yeah, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> what did you think about the match? It was actually a pretty good match. Uh, I mean, it uh, was what it was. I mean, it was different. I give it that. What you think about it, Josh? I was just glad when it was over. No, you don't say. That's it. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, he said it was a good match. But it is what it is. I, I just didn't care about it, man. It wasn't important to me, nor was I interested. If you know me by now, you know I do not like bitch wrestling. It bores the shit out of me. But anyway, then we get into the tag title matches. Tag, tag title match, you can't talk to me. Was it a tag team title match? I think, yeah. Wow, okay, I guess I'm out of loop. First off, before we get into the match, I got a question for you. Yes. Has New Day become stale? To me, yes. They they need they need something. I know people are really into it, and you know are big on their catchphrases and this that and the other. But, but for not much longer. I just don't know how for much longer. Yeah, I'm with you on that. And I, I hope WWE doesn't give it to us to like. You know. Well, if they split them up now, people will care. If they drive it down people's yeah, throats, nobody will give a fuck. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I think it's time for them. Don't get me wrong, we'll get into the match. But I just think it's time. They're a great act, but they've done, I think, everything they can they can do. If you brought them up, which one would you go would let go first? Which one would I let go first? What, who do you think should go off first by themselves? Uh well as far as who I see be, being the biggest star out of the whole crew, yeah. Big E. Yeah, definitely. Hands down. Uh, Kofi Kingston's a lot older. Yeah, uh, Xavier. I don't. I mean, he, he's great on great on the mic, but uh, to me, Big E's the star out of that deal. Uh, you can't fake size, and he has it, and he's got charisma. To me, Big E's the dude out of that. If we, they were break him up, I just what? What do you think they should do? Kind of. Oh Lord, I don't know. I mean, it, it'll have to be something over the top, you yeah. know. I mean, I'm sure they'll they'll figure out something that'll be over the top. And you know, the the thing about wrestling is, you want to get people talking. And guess what? Every two weeks or whatever they have these pay-per-views now. Guess what? Either in a positive or a negative reaction, people are talking and talking about them on social media. So they got you at the end of the day, folks. We got the match. We got New Day, uh, Kofi. Big E versus the Usos. 
uh, I thought it was a good match. Really good match. I dug it. Uh, looks like, I mean, we know we're going to have more out of it because the finish was a count out. Man, I tell you what, I was really on the fence about the Usos when they switched over to the to, to the new gear that they got. Oh, I love it. But, man, that, they, they really... They're probably my favorite tag team. Really? Yeah, now that they did that stuff. I like it. I like the revival. I think that they are more themselves and than rather than what the people, face paint. Rather than what people wanted them to be. Does that make sense? Yeah. You know, they wanted them to be this these tropical cats. You know what I'm saying? Tropical? Yeah, you know from that family. Come which, on, man. Which family would that be? You know, the Samoans, man. I, I just think the Usos fit that better. I um, like it. It's not cheesy. Uh, and I get what the Usos are I, doing. I'm glad they're tag champs. I do too. I mean, it's something different uh, for them. And, you know, I, I really do. I dig it too, man. Like, uh, I know everybody's bitching about this match. Uh, they had a count out. Guess what? You know, they still got 68 other pay per views and oh, yeah, 152 right. televisions or whatever Little crazy shit. number. Everything don't have to be done right now. Yeah. Let's slow down. Pump your brakes, bitches. Apparently, you fuckers never watched Saturday morning wrestling. They never know about that. And didn't wait for like, like okay, wrestling challenge. It used to come on Saturday morning or su su Superstars rather. Uh, challenge was a Sunday show. Superstars. How many times do we ever see real matches on there? Never. Yeah, right. um, once in a blue. You would see like Papa Shango versus Billy Bob. Mm-hmm. And he'd or, smash him in thirty or, seconds. You know, Hulk Hogan against. Red Rooster in your main event, or, yeah, or the it. genius, or something. But you never saw like big matches. If people had to go through that now, I don't think like people's attention span just couldn't do it. I mean, it's sad, it really is. No doubt. We got to talk about the three count in this match, though. It went down. Two, three. His shoulder was down. How much heat does that get that that guy have in his ear? Well, it depends, man. If it was part of the deal or not. I mean, okay. it could it could have been part of the deal. If not, he probably got his ass chewed. I mean, I would assume. But it was blatant three. Yeah, he didn't get his shoulder up. But I liked the match. Thought it was a good match. I digged it. Thumbs up for me. Two things. Dig it. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Probably outside the main event, probably the best match on the show. Okay, a lot of WWE Universe cared about this. I didn't. But what about Mike and Maria? Man, I'm going to throw you a curveball on this one, Josh. Show me one. I'll hit it out here. Are you? If used properly, they could be top tier guys on either show. Or I shouldn't say guys, a combination. Uh, they, they were with TNA for a while, and I know they were. Who hasn't been with TNA? I could uh, work there. Man, that is, yeah. Never mind. Uh, but but I do like Mike Bennett. I think he's really good. Uh, not sure about this cheesy 1980 Bon Jovi wannabe music that guy's going out to. But, uh, I know you didn't really didn't pay attention and or, and or give a fuck. I think I was rolling up at that time. <laughs> In your vehicle? <laughs> you, oh, yeah, man. You, you, you ran to the store. Okay, I got you. Yeah. Uh, we had the WWE title match. We got Jinder Mahal and Randy Orton in St. Louis, Randy Orton's hometown. Absolutely. Before the match, we had the senior citizens ringside. Man! We had, uh, well, yeah, we had Flair, Flair Slaughter, yeah, Bob Orton, Bob Orton Jr., uh, uh, who else was there? Barrett. Barrett, man, was on fire. Who's yeah. the guy you said was on powder? Oh, hey, now, uh, what was his name? Greg Gagne. Your word's not mine, but okay. Uh, uh, but yeah, they were all there, so we knew that something was going down. Yeah, you you knew it. I mean, I'm surprised they didn't do more. Like you said, Jinder Mahal had a dope entrance. Oh, yeah. He's awesome. Yeah, it was, uh, and he brought us, are those are like his boyfriends? You know, quite honestly, I don't know what, I mean, they kind of are his, I don't want to call them servants, I guess, or lack. You know, maybe server is not PG enough here. Uh, sorry about that, but that's I get. They pull his rug thing out, and you that's know. kind of person. Whoa, hey now, he needs to get some damn clear seal on that back. Yeah, but I like Jim Mahal. I like what he's doing. But he took on Randy Orton. 
some oxy pads. I thought I was, this was a good match. I was locked. Oh, up. dude, yeah. Oh, I like awesome it just match. like I like the first one. Um, the Jinder Mahal is Austin's champion. Yeah. Uh, but shout out, you know, Mahal keeps the belt. Uh, and shout out for Randy Orton for putting Mahal over in his hometown. Yeah. This makes it twice now. Yeah, uh, but I'm glad to see Jinder Mahal with the belt. It's Fresh. Different. I know I get a lot of hate for that. Fuck him. But, you uh, know. I like his promos. I like his style. I think it's something different. Uh, and Orton's doing what he needs to do. I mean, Orton don't need the belt anymore. People like him regardless, man. Yeah, I mean, it's... Uh, then I'll, I'll filler match alert. <laughs> Tyler Breeze and Fandango versus the Mystery Team. And in all honesty, the promo to lead up to this was actually pretty funny. The, the, guy, the guy had the cell phone that said property of Paul Lee, which was really funny. Uh, and they had, they had this Mystery Team on this old VHS tape. And I had really thought, okay, they're going to bring back either an old, older team. The Dangerous Alliance. That would have been awesome. I know. Uh, I don't know who they would have gotten, but uh, Sir and Bobby Eaton and Art Anderson are no longer wrestling, but nonetheless, boy, what a letdown when the Ascension walked out the curtain. And as soon as they walked out the curtain, I walked out the room. <laughs> I don't remember shit about this match. I didn't really care. I think it was a piss break match. When I came back in, uh, Tyler Breeze and Von Dunn, they went over. Oh, well, good, good. <laughs> but other than good. that, I don't know nothing about it. But, uh, Ascension, dude. But shout out to Tyler Breeze and Von Dunn because they was on the last show, too. So Yeah. Uh, but this was a match I just didn't care about. It was filler. But yeah, no shit. Good for Tyler Breeze and Von Dago. You know what I'm saying? It's what it is, bro. All right, then we have the Money in the Bank ladder match, the main deal here. We got Dolph Ziggler, Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, AJ Styles, uh, Nakamura, and Corbin. This was a good match. I, I loved Man. it. Uh, you know, I would have been. I, I told you last on the last video that Dolph Ziggler. I thought he was. He, his job. Is to put people up oh, dude. in the big ma in bigger matches. But man, well, like he, he always gets shit on at the end of the day, man. Yeah. Like I just Kevin Owens, U.S. champ, definitely don't need it. No. Sami Zayn, I'm boy, he bores the fuck out of me. Yeah, like, that's that's a heat comment. Uh, I know it's a lot. Yeah, I just he just reminds me of a taxi driver. Uh, but AJ Styles, Nakamura, and Corbin, I would have been happy with. Any of these man. guys winning. What about the exchange with Nakamura and AJ? How awesome oh, it was, was that? awesome, man. I, Ho hopefully they'll have a singles match. The longer they battled, I just had a feeling Corbin was going to come through and get the right. win like he did. Uh, but like I said, I didn't have no problem with Corbin winning this. Like you said, a lot of people don't like him. Yeah, I like Corbin. He, but I mean, I think he's, I think he's got a good future. Absolutely. Uh, they don't, you know. Uh, Good match. Yeah. Really good match. I miss like, like, like the, the last two pay per views, did you notice a pattern? Like, both of their main events were like big multi man yeah. style matches. I don't think this one was as good as the one exchange. It wasn't. It was extreme rules, but it was still a good match. Uh, yeah. Man, uh, excited, excited for Samoa Joe and Brock. Can't yeah, that's, get, yeah, that's three weeks away. Is it three weeks? Uh, but Corbin wins Money in the Bank. Should be interesting to see where they go with here. But Styles and Nakamura was definitely my favorite part of the match. They need a singles match. Yeah, they need a singles match at SummerSlam. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, the last two shows I pretty much shit on, but I'm not going to shit on this one. No. Nah. I like this show. Uh, I was interested. I liked, you know. The matches that I that I watched all the way through, which was the match, the tag match, the WWE title match, and Money in the Bank match, were all solid matches to me. But you know what, Josh? And I, I hear everybody online talking about how much better SmackDown is at all. Mm -hmm. And man, I guess I don't see it. Like that's because I just watch the pay per views. Uh, yeah. Man, the. The main event tonight compared to the main event two weeks ago or whatever, you know, 
I don't know. I mean, I guess I just don't see it, and I'll always see SmackDown as a Tuesday night or Thursday night show whenever it comes on, you know? Did you, look, did you like Money in the Bank? Yeah, yeah. What was your biggest? Do you, know, do you think they should do anything they should have done differently? I mean, I don't know about anything differently. It's just, there's, man, there's so many of these things here lately. Yeah. yeah. It's hard to get up for a pay per view that. I have a feeling Summer Slam's going to be pretty good, though. I hope, man. Like, they need to pull out all the stops for Summer Slam because. Yeah. Uh, I think this Great Balls of Fire could be all right. Definitely interested for Brock and Samoa Joe. Because it, it, is there just one more pay per view then SummerSlam or is there? I'm a, not sure. I'm not real sure. But yeah, I saw the show. I enjoyed it. Like I said, Money in the Bank and the books, good shit. Um, yeah, Byron Corbin, Byron Corbin, Bear, Bear, whatever. Like the pizza takes on the Red Bear. Money in the Bank. We got the NBA draft. Tuesday or Thursday night. LeVar Ball. Where's he going? He'll be a Laker. Do you think the number one pick gets traded to Philly? That already has. Has it? Yeah, it happened yesterday. Wow. Well, that changes. Yeah. But we'll see. Where's my boy Fox go to? Fox, I think they have him like fifth. But man, I, I know there's been talks out there about him and the Lakers now. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's just the last mock draft I seen. But uh, yeah, yeah, man. Mock don't mean shit though until that not. buzzer. You got anything else to add to this? Uh. Fuck. All right. Thanks for watching. We're out. Jimmy, you got anything else you want to add? Here we go. No, I really don't, man.